If you want a property of one object to control another property of another object, this is how you do it. First, you create the object. We'll create a cube. Uh, decrease its size by going to the scale tool and then dragging. Then we create another object. Let it be a cone. Scale it down as well. Then move it to the right. Now, if you want the rotation of the cone RP to control the size of the cube, this is how you'll, you'll do it. Right click on uh, RP, go to expression, set driver. Then go select the cube, go to the X scale of the cube, let's say, and go to expression and then select set driven. It'll go to zero because the rotation of the cone is zero. Now, if we increase the rotation of the cone, you'll notice the x scale of the cube is changing. If you go into the Espresso tag that has been created, double click, you'll see and select the range mapper. You'll see that whenever the rotation, the input rotation is zero, it's giving zero is outputting zero for the uh, size of the cube. Whenever the rotation is 360, it's outputting 100. You can change that. So make the output one lower and the output upper make it five. So whenever the rotation is zero, uh, the size of the cube will be one. That's its normal size. And whenever the uh, rotation of the cube is 360, it'll output like five times its size. Now, when we change the rotation of the cone, this is what will happen. So the cube is changing size without any keyframes. This is controlled by the uh, rotation of the cone. 